Well, um, I, I should first start by giving the background of the uh, decision on the premiership transition. Um, I'm a PKR Secretary General for the last 12 years until today. And uh, that gave me a, a, a position to also represent the party in the Pakatan Harapan Presidential Council. So um, I was one of the uh, 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 leaders representing uh, Ka'adilan who initiate the uh, negotiation between the Tun Dr. Mahathir and uh, Anwar Ibrahim before the last election, general elections. Anwar was, in pre Anwar was in prison and Tun Dr. Mahathir was just set up a new party. And uh, then the Pakatan Harapan coalition has been formed and the Pakatan uh, coalition consists of four different political parties. So uh, the negotiation that uh, took place that time was prior to the general election is that um, we need to send a strong winning message to the people. Mind you that uh, Malaysians, we never experienced change of government for the last 61 years. So um, it's, not, it's not going to be easy, you know, for you to convince uh, Malaysians at, uh, at large to choose and to vote for you. Yeah. There must be something that can uh, instill confidence uh, to the people of Malaysia uh, to excite them to start the change. So uh, we have to address the issue of uh, leadership, you know, and uh, to do that, you have to make sure that there will be uh, political stability, uh, you know. So in the context of Pakatan coalition, we first set up the Pakatan leadership structure and we put uh, Tun Dr. Mahade as the chairman. And then the, uh, closer to the uh, uh, general election, uh, we zoom in into a more practical issues. And those are number one, who will be the prime minister and who will be the deputy prime minister. And also we have to address the position of Anwar. He was in prison at that time, but uh, in the event that the Rakyat has agreed to give a mandate to Pakatan Harapan, what is the position of Anwar Ibrahim? We need to address that issue because Anwar represents the reform movement uh, for the last 20 years, whereas Tun Dr. Mahade uh, come up with a, a tagline of to save Malaysia. So we need to uh, address uh, this reconciliation process uh, between these two great leaders of Malaysia. So uh, at that time, we uh, managed to settle the issue of a premiership, uh, the deputy prime minister as well. And uh, we finally uh, agreed, we mean the Pakatan Harapan Coalition has agreed that Anwar will be the, uh, uh, the prime minister next after uh, Tun Dr. Mahade. And it was a consensus by the four uh, political parties in the Pakatan Harapan Coalition. And there was a written agreement uh, signed by each and every one of the key leaders of Pakatan Harapan. Alhamdulillah, uh, the people in Malaysia have chosen us. And now we are the government. We have fulfilled the first two promises, which is to put to Dr. Mahathir as a prime minister and Dr. Wan Aziza as his deputy. And people now talking about who's next, you know. The answer is obvious because it was a consensus decision by the Pakatan Harapan and it was a signed document. And while I have to, I have to uh, say here clearly, you know, that there is no time frame stated in that understanding. No time frame. That means we should focus on the, uh, giving all-out support to Prime Minister Mahathir as a Prime Minister and um, we will leave it to the wisdom of both two of them, you know, to decide. And they have met up quite frequently, you know, quite frequent. And uh, Tun Dr. Mahathir always uh, repeatedly saying that 
he will honor his promise. And uh, more important thing, more importantly, is this: it is not uh, 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 the the decision has been made, uh, and there was a consensus decision, and it was a decision by uh, leaders of the Pakatan Harapan. It is not a decision by any individuals, you know. So, uh, I would say that um, uh, whether uh, that, that there is a, a, a different answers given by uh, Prime Minister Mahabe, but to me, we have to uh, trust him that uh, he will honor his promise, as per uh, decided by the uh, Pakatan Harapan Presidential Council, where. He is a chairman of uh, a coalition.